Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 26, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. Um, as my cohort there dangerously scratches her head with a sword in her hand, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that just does not seem smart. We were pondering... Uh, what our next step was, were we going to go ahead and confront Janna at Zerka Corporation about the bounty that we knew, or we're going to go to Lieutenant Gren? And I think I'm going to go to Lieutenant Gren first. I just got to remember where the, uh, the quick travel thingy majig. I do not oh. approve of this alliance being formed with Chodo Habat and his Ithorians. Uh-oh. And... I don't need your approval. Go clap in the corner. Oh, wait. No. Uh, why is that? Habat has an agenda, and he hopes to tie you into it to use you to his own ends. And you don't? Oh, I don't see that as an option. I don't sense he intends to do us harm. We need his resources. Whatever help we must give him in return is necessary. Well, let's go with the first one. As it may, it would be best if you avoided such needless entanglements. You are too valuable to be caught up in the struggles of this planet. Seriously? We need his resources. Perhaps you're right. Uh, regardless, he needs our help, and I'll give it. All right. I can probably earn influence with her with perhaps you're right. But that just, that, that seems like that's going to bring me down. Yeah, let's go with regardless. I cannot force you to listen to reason. Only hope that you will grow past these infantile delusions of right and wrong. Infantile delusions of right and wrong? All right, you know what? While we're standing here, I don't know what, what you got? But you look different. It's hard to explain, but it's, uh, it's good to see. Um, yeah, let's go with that first Shows. option. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. All right, so another game, Pazak. No money. Questions. All right. Any questions? What did you want to know? Nope. Okay. That's it. You got anything else before we go any further? I'm in the force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? Uh, it is instinct to me to do what is right. There's enough suffering. If I can alleviate it, then I've made a difference. Because if I can help, I will. Now let's go with the second one. Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased, hounded since our first meeting, and it has only made you stronger, more capable. Uh, I fail to see how small acts of mercy can be harmful. If you're trying to guilt me out of helping people, you won't succeed. I think you're wrong. I mean, technically, I kind of do see your point, but, um... Mm. Let's try the third one. Ah, then you have learnt nothing from such small things. From such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Um. <laughs> them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Uh, then I shall view you as disposable then? Uh, 
I do not turn on my allies like the Jedi turned on their own during the wars. I will never abandon my friends in such a way. They are loyal companions, and I will not harm them. I'm feeling a little like answer number three. I don't turn to my allies like the Jedi, since that's supposedly why I'm exiled. So you may think, but it will be best to strike first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the Force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Uh, all right. Ask, and I will answer. Do you know anything about the Sith? Yeah. Nothing more than we already know, and anything else I know would be useless. There is danger oh. in such knowledge, even if I was certain of the ones who hunt you. All right. I lost influence, but I gained light side points. Why do I get the feeling that that is uh, tied together? All right. Let's get back to our original thing. I, I do kind of hate that the minions interrupt you like that all the time. All right, transit to another module. Let's go to, uh, was it the dock mod? No, it was the entertainment module. And yeah, and then we go down, nope. We got about halfway there. Because we need to go talk to the security officer and he was down this way. Where yet? Is oh, I didn't want to talk to that. I wanted to There we go. Something Lieutenant Grin. Yes, I have a blaster I'd like you to look a at. Blaster. Hm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? Hello, Beach Duck. Where did <laughs> Found this in one of the dock modules. Nah, let's go straight up. I was ambushed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks? That is well, disturbing news. You say found this at the docks. Like I was walking through the docks and oh, look, an illegal holdout blaster. Huh, how did that get there? Somebody was shooting me with that thing. All right. Uh, let's go with the second option. There are plenty of armed people on Citadel Station. Yes, that is true. But a weapon with these black market editions should not be available on the station. When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. You don't say. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. Where, where's the sarcastic <gasps> gasp? There's illegal trading on the highly trafficked station? <gasps> okay. Um, perhaps I could help you find the source. You found more evidence previously? Yeah, let's ask about the, the previous evidence. That might... Help us with one of the other quests. We have found a number of blasters similar to this one, as well as a crate of contraband weapons upgrades. Um, you wouldn't happen to have some of those contraband weapons upgrades, would you? I mean, I could check and make sure they're authentic. I'm just saying. No? Okay. A relative stranger as yourself might be useful for the investigation. You'd be compensated, of course. Um, where I, I'd like option number three. How much compensation are we talking about? I'd like to cover somebody else's gambling debts. Okay. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blaster around discreetly. See if anyone on the station knows something discreetly. about it, or at least react suspiciously. There's more than a few people around here I'd suspect having a hand in this. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find the source of the blaster. 
Okay then. Uh, so that's the smuggling. We still gotta find Lopax Lusk. Oh yeah, I still gotta go see Jana Lorso about that. Um, she might have something about Batu Rim, but I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna find anything about him until we get to Narshida, or we find him somewhere else by accident. I still gotta do. I still gotta buy back uh, Romana. More escape criminals. Oh, I gotta negotiate a new fuel source too. Somehow, find my ship back and await the end resolution of of the investigation. Oh no! Nope. All right. So who else can we show this blaster that matters? All right, those are all the empty lockers. I don't you got know anything useful to say? Buy without fuel from Paragus, but I guess uh, we have to find a way. Uh, hush, give me something useful. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? Any word on I the Ebon Hawk? I'm to inform you that we still do not have any new information on the matter of your missing ship. All right. All right, I'm not going to go through this again with you. All right, next step. Since, uh... Okay, random person. I heard that a crime syndicate has worked its way into the operation of Citadel State. Oh, thank you, Captain Useless. You're not the help I was looking for. I asked one question. <laughs> You'd be better off keeping your nose in your own business instead of someone else's? Eh, come here and make me, so I can loot the evidence off of your dead body. Unfortunately for you, you won't get a chance to learn that lesson. Yeah, about that. I don't think this is going to work the way you think it is. Bam. Uh, not heal. Valor. And then some masterful flurries. Wait, seriously? There, there's an officer standing there? Did you help? Did you even help a little bit? So, wait a second. We just had a shootout in the docking station. And you're just going to mumble something about fuel and walk off. And you wonder why there's a crime problem here. Alright, what's the body got for me? Um, uh, nothing apparently. I can't loot him and I don't know if it's because the contact point is outside, is glitched outside the station or, uh... Ah... <sighs> All right, let's see if we can provoke I another attack. Crime syndicate has worked its way into the it's good that Zerka's arrival has created new jobs on the station, but I can't say I'm happy yeah. with the mercenaries they've hired. All right, fine. Um, I know nobody's paid me, but let's go ahead and take care of the girlfriend while we're here. We're working our way back towards that end of the station anyway, so uh, let's see who. Uh, no, we don't want to talk to her just yet. Uh, no, random delusion. There we go. Ah, you've returned. I'd like to buy your dancing girl. I'm ready for our game. All right. There's a part of me that wants to try playing the game again. Except, with my luck, I'm probably not going to win again and lose another thousand credits again. So I'm going to go ahead and pay. Romana? I can see you have a good eye. She's well-trained, exquisite, yada yada. We've had this conversation before. Alright, how much? <laughs> credits, if it must be, the currency of the Republic is such a mundane way for businessmen to arrange their deals. But if that's the only way, I would accept no less than two thousand credits for her. 
Yeah, let's go with the persuade. Oh, I failed the persuade? How did I fail that persuade? Uh, give me the girl, I'll kill you. No, that's the dark side way. All right. I, I must have rolled a one. <laughs> uh, let's try the persuade again. Nope. Hmm. Uh, all right. Let me leave for a second. Let me save my game. Just so that way I know that um, if this goes horribly, horribly wrong, I've got a backup I can restore from. Let me run a Force Valor, which bumps all my stats. Then talk to him. I'd like to buy. How much? Persuade. Oh. Alright. Let's try the game Pazak. Alright, thousand credits. Let's hope we get lucky. All right, um, I already put the plus minus card in my side deck. That plus minus three is what I got from winning three games in a row from the card shark around the corner there. All right, let's do it. No, I'm not sure that I want to use that side deck, but it's the one I got. All right. So far, so good. I get that minus three, minus four if I need it. So let's uh take another card. Oop. Nineteen and stand. Ah, oh, you bum. I could do another nineteen and stand. And hope he goes bust, but then I'm burning through more cards than I want to. Uh, we still got the minus four. Let's take one more card. Ah, bugger. Are you kidding me? This is rigged. Let me see your sleeves. Uh, yeah, I'm because I'm gonna have to take one more card, and the chances of getting a two are very slim. Uh, yeah, I'll be going right now. And I lost a thousand credits, so you know what? I'm going to load. Load. Oh. Hush with the laughing. I'll come back to this one. Uh, I think I'll definitely come back to this one a little bit later. I'm not going to do the racing. Oh. And you. What kind of cards do you have for sale? While, I yeah, have that card this. This is all I get. Alright, uh, what you got for sale? A plus or minus one for 200. That's not bad. Another plus or minus three would be good as well. Um, and pretty much everything that I've read says that I really want to go for a side deck of plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three. With like uh, three to four of each. Um, hmm. And let's go ahead and buy the plus or minus three. And uh, add that to our side deck when we get to it. In the meantime, let's run back to... 
to the other area. And normally I'd fast travel, but now I'm wondering if I need to, uh... We've received some reports that the Miraluka colony of Qatar was destroyed with no survivors. It's good that Zerka's arrival has created new jobs on the I need to see if I can provoke another, uh, incident with a mercenary. I, I appreciate what you're doing. Um, but maybe not in the chat. All right. Uh, what you get? TSF isn't cut out to handle all the problems on Spidel Station right now. A Republic ship was supposed to have arrived to take control of the situation here. I mm. hope it's not too late. The problems are becoming too much. All right. Let's head back to. Let's head back here and shall we head to Zerka? Was this? Where's my big map? Okay. That's the Zerka offices. Alright. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Actually, I wonder if he could tell. If you will allow me to look at it, yes, this is indeed a Zerka manufactured holdout blaster. Huh. Zerka Corporation is the galaxy's leading weapons producer. A blaster of course of this model it is. is quite common. However, it does seem to have some non-standard modifications. Non-standard modifications. All I can tell you. All right. Well, that gives me a little bit of information on the assassin. Hopefully, useful. What do we got over this way? <laughs> what about you? None of us are tempted to go, though. Asgol might not be a good guy, but for enough credits, any risk is worth it. Ah, uh, that's useless. A lot of us are tempted to go, though. Asgol might not be a good guy, but for enough credits... I wish the Ethorians would take their hood ship back to Ethor and let us do our job. Uh, okay. I'm worried about the mercenaries we've been hiring. They outnumber the CSD, <laughs> so if they ever get out of line, we might be in trouble. Might be in trouble? I think you're already in trouble. Especially since they're talking about, you know, maybe the money ain't good enough. Alright. So, oh. What do we have here? If you're watching on YouTube, you'll find out in the next episode. If you're watching on the live stream, you'll find out in just a few minutes. Hang on just a second. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. 
And uh, with all that said and done, we're uh, we're gonna cut out. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.